Me. Me for sure. Uh, I don't know. It might be Jerry. He went tween, though. He did? He tweened, yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. He won he for tween, sure then. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see that. Give it to the rook. We'll give it to the rook. Yeah, I mean, it's my last year, so I knew, like, coming out, I was like, I just want to have a ton of fun, like, no matter what. Turn up the crowd, like, turn up my teammates, so, yeah. Yeah, same. I know just, you know, it's my last year, too. Uh, Nick told me he was nervous for you when out there, so that, that kind of gave me, like, the, the go-ahead that he's going to go out there and have fun. So um, it's good to have everybody come out and, you know, support us. So. Hey, Terrence, you're new to Memphis basketball. How has the reception been? Well, how has the action been? <clears throat> What have you noticed about your fans, especially on social media, since you've been here? This short time you've been here. Um, I mean, I look at it a little bit. I try to stay on social media a lot, you know. But um, I get you know DMs and stuff like that. I see those type of things. But you know, it's it's a basketball city. They say they love the Grizzlies, but they love you know the Tigers more. So um, just you know, giving them my all. They're gonna give them, give me their all coming out supporting. So you know, I'm gonna go out there and get them my all on the court. I mean, I think just the rapport and everything I built with this staff, the hard work I put in, like they know who I am and I know the system. So just also the opportunity to be a leader. Like I've been able to help these guys, whether it be by example or giving advice and kind of stepping into that role and challenging myself. Sorry, so one thing I'm saying <clears throat> yesterday today, at Mercy in practice. Um, an event like this is fun, a good time out there. But if there's an intensity about you, one flavor, took that long Yeah. But is that a is that a level of that intensity? Where does that come from? And is that something that it's hard for you to turn off as you're out there? Yeah, I think it's organic to me, you know, honestly. Growing up, you know, thirteen brothers and sisters, being one of the youngest, getting beat up on my whole life. You know, playing sports, I'm not winning as much. I think that's just installed there, you know what I'm saying? And uh, um just taking it to the game that I love and I'm passionate about things that can, you know, this, this game can change my life, can do a lot for me, my teammates, the university. So um, I think it's something that, that just can't get turned off. It's just 100% me, so. 13. 13. What number are you? On my mom's side, it's a, it's, it's a lot of, but on my mom's side, I'm the youngest. On my dad's side, I'm the third youngest, so. Yeah, yeah, I'm the third youngest, yeah. Oh, they can't mess with me now. Whatever, they can't do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. No, it was it, it was instant because we connected quickly, especially on the court. Like we've been playing so much with each other, connecting. So it was quick. Find everyone's name, knowing where they're from, kind of feeling their energy out, who they are. Yeah. No, not me. Um, I've been watching Dane since I was in high school. You know, both of us being Midwest kids, um, you know, I've always been watching Dane. I'm following his journey. Even when he got to Baylor, got hurt, um, to Illinois. Like, I know I know Dane's game. I know what he's capable of. Um, and, you know, he's doing everything to, you know, you know reach his potential to help himself um, in the future and his team. So, I mean, he surprises me because I ain't never seen, like, the way he moves like a guard and dribbles <laughs> is new to me. Like, I, I've never seen a big move like that, the way he shimmies, the way he got the hook, he got the left, right. So he got the right shoulder, left shoulder. He got a deep bag. So, like, he always surprised me. He always coming out with something new. Is there anything specific you guys are looking forward to in North Carolina? Um, I know we're going to be ready to play. They're going to be ready to play. So, you know, um, like I said, everything that they worked on throughout the whole summer, they're going to try to showcase it. Um, and um, everything we worked on the whole summer, we're going to go out there and showcase it. So. Thanks. Um, I actually know uh, Seth. Uh, yeah, Seth Symbol. Yeah, we played um, the AAU together. Grew up around the same area. So, um, Seth, my guy. Yeah. Have y'all been texting, talking trash back and forth or not? We haven't. We haven't, actually. I should give him a text. But I see him. I see him. Hey, Tyrese, how has your familiar um, with this new uh, system 
this, I know you're doing the system, mm. you know what I'm saying, that you played before, but it's new to you. So how has your transition to learn the system and perfect the system? Um, I think naturally I adapt to things very well. Um, and I think that's just coming with, you know, pride, ego, um, getting out of your ways, but it's for the better, you know, to win. So me knowing that the talks that I had throughout the summer with coach, um, I mean, it, it applied right away. Like when we come in, it's going to be this, that, and the third. And, you know, everything that I got here, we're doing that. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to win. I know these group of guys trying to win, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to do that. So. Are you surprised at your teammates with the way you kind of fly? Yeah, I be having to tell them, bro, like, I can really do all that. I'm just getting older now. You know, the knees starting to, you know, I can do that. I tell them, go look back on my Instagram. I got some dunks up there, but they'll figure out. They starting to see now, so. That was light, though. But that was light, though. That was light. I had a, My knees was kind of bothering me there, though. But that was light, for sure. You and Jared had a dunk contest yet? No, did we, I think we had one in the summer. No, we didn't. We actually didn't have it. We was going to have it, but we didn't have it. I beat Jared though. I got a lot of stuff in my bag he can't do. So. That's like, I'm saving my knees. I'm getting old. I'm gonna leave that to him. Yeah, I feel like I haven't got the chance to really showcase it as much. You know, I'm um, just like you know, past systems I played in. I mean, my freshman year I had a lot of dunks, um, but you know, now that I'm older, I'm more explosive, more stronger. I think you know, playing in a system that you know Memphis runs, um, it'll be showcased a lot. So. Two more. With Penny Hardaway being one of the greatest point guards in NBA history, you know, we've always talked about point guards coming into his system and being able to kind of mind meld with. Mm that level of a talent. Mm -hmm. What is it like, kind of walk us through for you, just those meetings, I guess, with him, are you just like fire hydrant taking in information, or what, what's, it, what's it been like kind of sitting down with him? I mean, it, it's exciting, you know, it's like, it's like a singer wanting to be a singer, and you got the best singer coach, you know, with you teaching you stuff, um, with him being one of the greatest point guards, you know, just going out there and learning and soaking in all the information, asking a lot of questions, um, the biggest thing is keeping your ears open, um, applying it. I mean, I go back and watch his highlights at home. Um, I'm not going to say I was like, oh, the biggest Penny fan growing up with this and that, because I was young, you know, but um, just going back, watching his highlights, he had, a, he had his bag. So, you know, just listening to him.